Given the functions f of x equals x minus 3 and g of x equals negative x plus 1, evaluate f plus g at negative 4. We will solve this problem using two methods. The first method will be to use the graph provided. The second method will be to derive a combined function, h of x, and substitute a value for x. First, we'll solve this problem using the graph. f at negative 4 equals negative 7. Draw a point on the graph of f of x at negative 4, 7. g at negative 4 equals 5. Draw a point on the graph of g of x at negative 4, 5. Add the y values to get negative 2. The notation reads f plus g at negative 4 equals negative 2. Now solve the problem algebraically by finding a function, h of x, that is the sum of functions f and g. Replace f of x with x minus 3, and replace g of x with negative x plus 1. Distribute positive 1 through the brackets. Collect like terms. The x terms subtract out, leaving the constant negative 2. The resulting function is h of x equals negative 2. Now evaluate h at negative 4. The result is negative 2. Without a variable, the function will always resolve to negative 2, no matter what the function input is. In part b, we'll evaluate f minus g at 6. First we'll solve this problem using the graph. f at 6 equals 3. Draw a point on the graph of f of x at 6, 3. g at 6 equals negative 5. Draw a point on the graph of g of x at 6, negative 5. Subtract the y values to get 8. The notation reads f minus g at 6 equals 8. Now solve the problem algebraically by finding a function, h of x, that is the difference of functions f and g. Replace f of x with x minus 3, and replace g of x with negative x plus 1. Distribute negative 1 through the brackets. Collect like terms to get h of x equals 2x minus 4. Now evaluate h at 6 to get 8. This matches the result we obtained from the graph earlier. In part c, we'll evaluate f times g at negative 1. First, we'll solve this problem using the graph. f at negative 1 equals negative 4. Draw a point on the graph of f of x at negative 1, negative 4. g at negative 1 equals 2. Draw a point on the graph of g of x at negative 1, 2. Multiply the y values to get negative 8. The notation reads f times g at negative 1 equals negative 8. Now solve the problem algebraically by finding a function, h of x, that is the product of functions f and g. Replace f of x with x minus 3, and replace g of x with negative x plus 1.
Multiply the binomials. Collect like terms to get h of x equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now evaluate h at negative 1 to get negative 8. This matches the result we obtained from the graph earlier. In part d, we'll evaluate f divided by g at 5. First we'll solve this problem using the graph. f at 5 equals 2. Draw a point on the graph of f of x at 5, 2. g at 5 equals negative 4. Draw a point on the graph of g of x at 5, negative 4. Divide the y values to get negative 0.5. The notation reads, f divided by g at 5 equals negative 0.5. Now solve the problem algebraically by finding a function, h of x, that is the quotient of functions f and g. Replace f of x with x minus 3, and replace g of x with negative x plus 1. Now evaluate h at 5 to get negative 1 over 2. This matches the result we obtained from the graph earlier.